I flew to Europe last week and was shocked by how chaotic the airport security screening line was. These are three little known tips that helped me get through as quickly as possible and the last one even saved me from missing my flight out of Paris. Having been through the airport security line hundreds of times, I have learned that the order that you place your belongings into the bins does make a difference. Assuming you don't have an exemption, you will need to put all of your larger electronics, including your e-reader, phone, laptop, and iPad in a separate bin. The mistake that I see travelers making all the time is that they pull these items out first. Items that you place through the security scanner first are going to be out of your control and out of your sight for the longest period of time. You want those items to be things like your shoes or your liquids bag as opposed to your unprotected electronics. There is a risk of theft, but the bigger risk here is that your items may become damaged. They are often moved by other travelers or by airport staff to make room for the influx of new items coming through the scanner. That means any random person could pick up your bin with your laptop and plop it down on a random table. It may be dropped in the process or other bins or items may end up being placed on top of things like your laptop. So always put your least valuable and your least fragile items through the scanner first and then save things that are valuable and fragile like your electronics till the end. And then once all of your items are in the security bin, you will need to walk through a body scanner. These scanners are extremely sensitive and even having something like a piece of tissue in your pocket could set the alarm off. But there is one thing that you can carry with you through the body scanner and that every passenger should, your passport. I will always carry my passport in my hand as I walk through the scanner. It is the most valuable thing that I have and I have never been asked to place it in a bin. And it took me dozens of times going through the security line to realized that it was even an option to carry my passport with me. Be extra cautious though that it is the only thing because again if you had anything left over in your pockets you will likely set off that alarm meaning you need to go through the body scanner again or you are delayed due to a manual search. I absolutely would have missed my flight from Paris to Malta despite having a four hour connection if I did not follow this last tip. Go through the security line as soon as you have checked your bags and you have your boarding pass essentially as soon as you possibly can. Security lines can be unpredictable and delays are common, especially with how many new travelers are flying this year. Because I had four hours from when I arrived in Paris to when my flight to Malta was taking off, I thought I would go to the T1 lounge, despite my gate for my next flight being in the second terminal. I'm very grateful that I skipped the lounge and instead headed straight to my gate because due to factors like airport construction, limited staff available for directions, and a ton of confused travelers, I ended up making it to my gate just in time for boarding. Leave the phrase Paris Airport down in the comments if you have been through this airport as well. You will especially want to give yourself extra time if you see the letters SSSS printed on your boarding pass. This code stands for Secondary Security Screening Selection and is often just assigned at random so anyone can end up with these four letters on their boarding pass and have to go through additional screening. It's not a big deal, but it does mean that it will likely take extra time for you to get through the security line as an agent may ask additional questions, they may check all of your belongings, and they may also need to do a manual search. If you are looking for more advice to get through airport security, I have a video link down in the description with 10 additional tips. My name's Megan, and I hope to see you back here again next week for more travel tips and hacks. Safe travels. Bye.